How's it going everybody? I've got Geza, my old man, uh, sit with me today, He's staying with us for a few days. Geza, how you going? Good, thanks. Yeah. Good day, everybody. Geza has been uh, requested by the folks at home to join in on a couple of videos, and this one is one of Geza's own choosing. Uh, we've got the names on the board of the All Blacks who went on tour uh, to Europe at the end of the year. And we're going to go through, or well, you're going to go through, yep. uh, pretty quickly and just give these guys a rating to see how you think they did throughout the tour. Yep. So we will start with the front row, George Bauer. Oh, I thought he was uh, pretty consistent. He's new to the team and he never let the side down. Out of ten? Seven. Seven. La La La, Casey. La La Casey. La La, probably one of the number one picks. People said he didn't do that well. I thought he was okay in most of the games. Mm -hmm. Did maybe a couple of silly things. I give him a seven. Okay, Nepo rather than Casey. Why did I think Casey? What's Casey up to? Has he retired? His brother. I think he's coaching somewhere. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Tyrell Lomax. Tyrell Lomax is a guy that he didn't perform that well on the Super Rugby. On the mm -hmm. All Black Tour, Foster, Ian Foster and company seemed to like him. Mm hmm. He never let the side down, really. Uh, I think his All Black form might have been better than a Super form, actually. I'll give him a six. Okay. Joe Moody. Joe Moody had an injury uh, prior to going to the tour. Uh, it wasn't the old Joe Moody that we knew of, but he still he still held up his end pretty well. I give him a seven. Is he going to make it through to the World Cup? Yeah, I think so. Angus Tarbell. Angus Tarbell dislocated his elbow on tour. I think he only played two or three games. I like him, because he can play the side of the scrum, but I give him a six. Mm. Carl Tuinukwafe. Yeah, I thought they would have used this guy more. He's mm. really strong scrummager. He seemed to be a little bit out of favour, but the mm. games I saw him play, played all right. I give him a six. Seems to have fallen down the pecking order a bit. Offa Tuinukwafe. Tuinukwafe is another one that had an injury. Uh, probably didn't play to his form from a year ago, because he's had a couple of little niggles. I think he had a bit of a niggle of a knee injury. I'd give him a six. Mm. Ethan DeGroote, the Ethan new DeGroote. man. I like this guy. Mm. I think he's got a big future in the game. Might take him a while to play for the All Blacks again. He'll definitely be there. I'll give him a seven. Is he going to pass Big Carl in the pecking order at loose head? Uh, he's still learning. Still learning. Hookers, Asafo Amua. Asafo Amua had a concussion before the tour. The games I saw him play, I like this guy. He's got real mobility. He's tough. Uh, I give him a seven. Just needs more game time, mate. He needs a good good yeah. run with no concussions. Um, Dane Coles. Coles had a calf injury. Same old Dane, bit of mongrel in him. Probably didn't perform to his feet. Might have lacked a little bit of fitness. But, you know, Dane Coles, he's always there. I give him a seven. And he, is he going to make the World Cup? Oh, I would hope so. Mm. Yep. Um, Tokiaho. Tokiaho, I love this guy. He's tough. Yeah, he's a tough player. He's really good. He's a he's a man of the future. I give him a seven. So seven. I'll give him an eight. I'll be more generous. Cody Taylor. Cody Taylor. Cody Taylor had a real big super season. He was a bit tired, but, uh, you know, he never let the side down. I give him a seven. New man, Josh Lord. Josh Lord. Yeah, he's interesting. I've seen this guy play a few super games in NPC games. For the new boy on the block, he did pretty well. I give him a seven. Brody Retellick. Back from Japan, is he the same Brody? Uh, yeah, I, actually, I'm going to give Brody Retellick an eight. A lot of people will disagree with that because he didn't play that well, but he was the heart of that All Black Pack for a, a good part of that tour, and he was getting a bit tired towards the finish, but I give Brody Retellick an eight. Tupo Vai. Tupo Vai, this guy's got a future. He's uh, He makes a few mistakes, but he's still learning. He's promising. I give him a seven. Sam Whitelock. Sam Whitelock. Yeah, this guy, he's been around forever. I love this guy. He's always in the thick of it. Um, I definitely give him a seven. He was a bit tired, but I give him a seven. Mr. Versatile, Ethan Blackadder. Ethan Blackadder. I love this guy. He's tough. He's raw. He's got a lot to learn, but he's going to get there. Seven. Sam Kane, back from injury. Sam Kane, back from injury. Never let the side down. Nah, he was the Sam Kane of old. I give him an eight. Has he done enough to get back to the All Blacks regular starting seven in place uh, of... Probably if he doesn't get hurt. Hmm. Shannon Frizzell. Yeah, Shannon Frizzell didn't play many games, but I like Shannon Frizzell as a player. He's in the loose mix. If 
Foster doesn't know much about the loose mix yet, which he's going to take to the World Cup, but all these guys will be in contention. I give him a seven. Akira Iwane. Akira Iwane, yeah, he's, he had some good games and average games. Um, he was gangbusters against Australia yeah, before the tour. Yeah, he played some really good rugby and he played some mixed rugby. Uh, yeah, probably the jury's still out on him, but I'd still have him in my squad. Seven. Luke Jacobson. Luke Jacobson. Well, to be honest, uh, Ian Foster said that Luke Jacobson and Hoskins Satutu were the best two ball carriers he had on tour. And even though they didn't see the big games, he's definitely there. I give him a seven. Dalton Papaliti. Oh, Dalton Papaliti. Yeah, I give him an eight. He's outstanding. He was tired. He had an injury, but he played magnificent rugby. Give him an eight. Hoskins Satutu. Hos Oh, sorry, I've skipped Savia. Adi Savia. Adi Savia, give him an eight. Always there. Mm. Played his heart out every game. Yeah, what can you say about Adi Savia? Eight. Satutu? Satutu, I give a seven. I think this guy has got a lot more in him in the future. He may be hanging around on the fringe of the All Blacks for a while, but he's got the goods. Give him a seven. All right, into the backs, Finlay Christie. Oh, Finlay Christie, yeah, this guy, this guy is the future. Yeah... Finley Christie, what I saw of him, definitely give him a seven. TJ Perinara. TJ Perinara, yeah, he had a bit of a mixed tour after the Japan, but he's still tough and he's still that guy that knows how to drive a team. I give him a seven. Aaron Smith, limited, Aaron Smith, limited time. He came in late. He played against the French. He didn't let the side down, even though some commentators didn't like it. I still give him a seven. Brad Weber. Brad Weber, he had a couple of little niggly injuries. Uh, I like this guy. He's very similar to Smith. Maybe not quite as good, but I give him a seven. Hard question. If Falau Fakatava comes in and gets All Blacks eligible, which one of these guys gets cut? Oh, probably Piranara. Mm. I could be wrong. Mm. Bowden Barrett. Bowden Barrett. Bowden Barrett. Yeah, well, Bowden Barrett got hurt towards the end of the tour. He didn't have the best of tours, but Bowden Barrett, you've always got to have that guy in your squad. He's a magical player. You know his history. He's been world player two times and close in a lot of other times. I give him a seven. Richie Moonga. Yeah, Richie Moonga. He had a bit of a mix to it towards the finish. Um, yeah, I'm quite sure about Richie Moonga. I mean, I'm always going to have him in my squad because I like him at super level. Mm. I don't think he's established himself at all black level, but that could yet come, so I give him a seven. Mm. Braden Enor. Well, Braden Enor had a... <clears throat> Yeah, he's had a bit of, he's had a penisitis and a real bad injury. He only played a couple of games. Um, he is one for the future. He's big and he's strong and he can play on the wing. I love this guy. Definitely got a future for this tour. I give him a six. Mm. Havili, David Havili. David Havili. I know David Havili came in for a lot of criticism about that uh, pass that the French got the last try in. But if you watch him when he came on, he did a lot of good work. He's not the big, strong second five like Nani Lamapi, but I still have him in my squad because he's a utility guy. Seven. The wheels, Rico Ioane. Oh, Rico Ioane, outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. This guy, oh, this guy had a magic to him. He's, he's a leader. He, he's just a magic guy. I give him a nine. Mm, top one so far. Anton Leonard Brown. Anton Leonard Brown. He had a few injuries on tour, too, to be fair. He, um,. Yeah, he was okay. Anton, he wasn't the peak Anton Len Brown, but he had a few injuries. I give him a seven. Mm. Quinn Tupaya. Uh, this guy's got a future. I love this guy. This guy's got a future. He's still finding his feet in the big the big noise of rugby. The big, yeah, the big log. He's a big boy. He's, yeah, I give him a seven. He's got a future. Mm. Into the outside backs, George Bridge. George Bridge coming for a lot of criticism because he gave away a try against the Springboks. But this guy, to be fair... He never had the play go his way. We know how good he is from the past. I would always have this guy in my squad because loyalty, this guy is going to be, he's going to be there in the future. Give him a seven. Breakthrough player of the year, Will Jordan. Will Jordan, yeah. He, he didn't play in as many games as what I thought he would. Now, he's a magic player. He's a bit like Christian Cullen. He makes breaks. He scores tries. He does a lot of good work. They reckon he's weak under the high ball. I don't know whether I agree with that too much, but I definitely give him an eight. Sever Reese. Sever Reese. Yeah, I love this guy. Tough. Had a couple of little niggly injuries, but he's going to be there. He'd be in my squad. Seven. Geordie Barrett. Geordie Barrett. 
about it? Yeah, he came in for a bit of criticism in the island and uh, French games, but I still think the only average game he had was against the French, but he still kicked the goals, so I give him an eight. And last but not least, Damien McKenzie. Now, Damien McKenzie's coming for a lot of criticism from some rugby scribes on this tour, and it, to be fact, this made me really angry because this guy, I know he's going to Japan on a six-month sabbatical, and I've heard some people say that he wasn't rated very highly for this tour. But McKenzie, he played all right. He did nothing much wrong. He was consistent in the way he played in the Super, and he did for the All Blacks. And he was he was a marked player because he was getting swamped because the opposition know how dangerous he is. I give him a seven. How about the coaches? Fozzie, Plumtree. McLeod and Moore. Mm. And Feek, uh, Foster. He still hasn't settled on his final 23. Mm. And I think this could be a bit of a an issue with him next year, but he's got Joe Schmidt on board now, so I would give him a seven. Mm -hmm. The rest of the coaches? Plumtree. Yeah, I like John Plumtree as a Fords coach, to be honest. Did the Fords front up enough, though? We got, um, we got bullied a bit by the Irish. Yeah, I know they were, but I still like him. I still think he's got the goods to be in that all-black setup. I give him a seven. Mm -hmm. Any of the others? Uh, Brad Moore. I like Brad Moore. He's been with the Crusaders. He's been over in Wales. He came in for a bit of criticism for the last two games, but if you're going to criticise him, you've got to take him as a group. I give him a seven. Mm -hmm. Scott McLeod. Yeah, the jury's still out on Scott McLeod. Personally, I like the guy. I think with maybe an extra couple of eyes on um, future with him, I like him. I give him a seven. Greg Feet, the scrum coach, he's coming for a bit of criticism too because they reckon the props didn't front up as much as they should. But, you know, it's his first season. Mm. We've got to give him a bit of leeway. I give him a seven. Mm. Yeah. I do feel like our scrum doesn't look intimidating as much as some of the other squads, like the Springboks, even the Irish. Some of those other packs are looking pretty mean. To be honest, I think if we can solve this rush defence that the bigger sides like England, Ireland and South Africa and France will confront us in the next two years, if we can get that rush defence sorted out, this team is going to go places. I'm not saying they're going to win the World Cup. But I will say they will go close. Mm. Yeah, I think very much a building year. We saw from um, from how he kind of rotated the squad that he's definitely building depth. But maybe, maybe in the next year or so, he needs to narrow things down in terms of who his guys are. Yeah, I've just been reading an article on my phone about future tight forwards to maybe join the squad. I mean, Aidan Ross would be one. R2 Moly would be another, depending on injuries at lock. We're a bit light. We've got Quid and Strange, maybe Dominic Bird. Not Perry Perry Parkinson because he's out for next year. Um, Jack Goodyear will come back into the centres. Mm. The Lucys, mm, yeah, we've got, lot, we've got lots of good Lucys. Lucys, I mean, if these guys get injured, there's guys like Reed Princip and uh, a whole lot of other guys that can bring along. Like Cullen Grace. Mm, Tom Robinson. Yeah, Tom Robinson. Yeah, and you got Alec Hodgman who could come into the props. Mm. So we, we still have a bit of depth. We may not have as much as what we think, but I still think we've got enough to go close to winning that World Cup. Well, we will see. We will see. Maybe we can look at this in a year's time to see how Fozzie's yeah, done at the end of next year and see kind of which guys have fallen out of favour and if anybody else has broken yeah, through. Yeah, because you're right. They are going to have to narrow the squad, and that's going to be the tough part. Mm. But, like, you know, this game, there's always injuries, mm. and we've always got to have somebody to step up. At the 5'8s, five 5'8s, five a lot of people say, what happened to Barrett if Moanga got injured? Well, we've got Josh Uani and Mitchell Hunt. And I think those guys would both be all right at this level. What about DMAC? DMAC, he'd be in my squad because he's a utility. Squad player, but not starting first five? No, nah, probably not. Maybe in the small games, not the big games. Mm. But he wants to play first five, mm. so mm. the future will tell. Mm. All right, guys, cheers for that. Um, let me know what you thought of Gaz's ratings for the guys. Is he too lenient? Is he too harsh? But um, Oh, can I just say one thing? Sure. Oh, sorry. I just want one thing about the locks. Uh, Scott Pat Barrett. Scott Barrett Pat and Tupelo Patrick Tupelo mm. both went home. Um, providing they're available next year, which I think they will be. Well, Scott Barrett will be in. Tupelo will be as well. 
Those guys will be, definitely be in the squad or on the fringe. Yeah, that's looking a lot healthier. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, cheers, Gazza. Yep. Thanks for your thoughts. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys again Thanks, soon. Guy. Keep supporting Mark. He's doing a great job. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Bye.